Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Megan, and today we're gonna to be talking about chronic pain and how your diet can actually help you, and my experience with CRPS and what I've done to help that pain. If you're like me, you have tried literally everything to control your chronic pain, from chiropractors to acupuncture, yoga, stretching, injections, you name it. While some of those may help, they don't last long term, if a couple of weeks. Before CRPS, when people would tell me that you could heal your body through food, my eyes literally rolled back in my head and stayed there. You couldn't tell me anything. I, no, no, no thank you. Now, before the CRPS and the depression, because I eat from depression, and not moving very much, scratch that, not moving at all because I didn't leave my couch for like a year and a half, I loved working out, but I didn't eat incredibly healthy. Like I wasn't super strict. I was super athletic and I loved working out. Within a few years, I lost 130 pounds. Here's some pictures, for example. <laughs> So I know about losing weight and working out, but I was never super strict about diet. I allowed those cheap meals. I was just very calories in, calories out type of person. I got CRPS about almost two years ago, but I wasn't diagnosed until the end of 2020. When I started getting on the CRPS forums, a lot of people who have had it for 10, 20 years would talk about how they have helped. I would never say controlled. You, there's no like controlling this beast. It is what it is. But you can help it. When they said they helped their CRPS through diet, strict diet and never going off of it, I still just pushed it aside. I was going to find another way, period. And I did, through diet. <laughs> Food heals your body. So I was getting cortisone steroid injections every two weeks for about a year. And then I would say about two months ago, I was diagnosed with Cushing syndrome. Cushing syndrome is when your cortisone levels, your cortisone levels stay too high for too long. You can get Cushing syndrome, which I got. Um, I have another video that's talked about Cushing syndrome and like what the symptoms are. I have all the symptoms, including weight gain. So please do not let my appearance fool you. I sort of know what I'm talking about with the whole diet and exercise stuff. Y'all, this diet, I've, I've tried everything, but I've never felt the way I feel now. When they told me I had Cushing syndrome, I, sorry, I'm such a baby, like, no, I'm not a baby. It's just hard. It is so hard to have this disorder. I'm sorry. So, so when I was diagnosed with Cushing syndrome, they told me I wasn't allowed to have injections anymore. And I was devastated. I was absolutely devastated. And unless you have, and unless you have lived with CRPS um, or some type of chronic pain disorder, you're not really gonna understand from that aspect. But when you find something that sort of works for you and then you're told you can't have it anymore, it's devastating. It's literally devastating. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so, that day, I hope I didn't ruin my makeup. Um, so that day, I decided I have to stop pushing 
on this whole diet. <laughs> this whole, I don't want to be controlled by this disorder. You're not going to tell me what I can eat type of thing. And when I left there, instead of getting super down and getting depressed like I could have in the past, I decided to just jump into super, super strict paleo. No dairy, no grains, no wheat, no gluten. You can eat air and water. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You can eat lots of fruits and vegetables. Sorry, let me check my makeup real quick. <laughs> So you can eat lots of vegetables and fruits and there's there are many options, just not the op options I liked before. Like I was a foodie. Domino Cinestics, sign me up. Like they should have given me a discount because I ordered them probably more than I should have over the past, you know, 10 years. When I went on paleo, I went super strict. And I also don't eat nightshades. Nightshades are vegetables that increase inflammation markers. Um, so I've completely cut those out as well. So I've been strict paleo for about two months. And when I say it's helped, I haven't had those insane flare-ups to the point where I'm laying in bed for multiple days um, where I feel like I would rather die. That's like a strong statement, but if you have CRPS, you know what I'm talking about. You would just rather curl up and die, honestly. And other, there are other, I'm, I know there are other chronic pain conditions that are just like this. So you know what I'm talking about. When you're in that much pain, only God can save you. Since paleo, I haven't had any massive flare-ups. I've had little ones here and there, but like nothing crazy. So, a month in, I go to my mother's house, which, mind you, I have not been able to drive myself to my, my parents' house in eight months, seven or eight months. I was able to drive myself to my parents' house. It was a miracle. I, I say it's because of uh, paleo. I don't know, but uh, it was a miracle. So my mother made homemade chocolate ice cream. Ugh, it's like the key to my soul. And I decided, mm, I'm doing amazing. Why don't I see if it's the diet? So I ate a bowl. When I tell you, I had a flare up for multiple days. Never in my life, never in my life will I eat sugar again, ever. It's, it's just not worth it. Right after that, I went strict paleo again. And I haven't had another flare-up like that. So it just goes to show 100% diet helps heal, heal your body. And if it's not healing the CRPS, it is at least keeping the inflammation down so that you don't have those insane flare-ups. Now, obviously, I still hurt. It is the worst chronic pain condition known to man. So I still hurt. I still have the aches and pains. But over time, I assume the inflammation markers will go down and it'll help even more. So I'm on this for life. I know it sucks, but if you're in that much pain, it doesn't matter. You're willing to give it up. I did this video because I just want to help. I hope that I can help Someone with CRPS, someone with chronic pain, just someone. I just want to be able to help one person with their pain. I want to back it up by science because anyone can say, hey, do this, doesn't mean crap. So, um, I want to read you a few studies that were done um, about diet and inflammation, and I will link more down below. I don't want to make it too long. Um, I'm going to read it off my phone because obviously my last wellness Wednesday video, I'm not great at reading from something. So I'm going to read it off my phone. <laughs> A 2019 study out of Europe found that flavonoids, which are found in red wine, berries, and green tea are effective at reducing pain. Uh, with the key factor being reducing inflammation in the body and CRPS is linked to inflammation. Uh, most 
most chronic pain issues are linked to inflammation. Strawberries in particular, the researchers reported, were found to help with osteoarthritis-related knee pain. In another study, an anti-inflammatory diet was deemed helpful in reducing pain levels in women who lived with fibromyalgia. And there were more studies out there corroborating, corro corroborating, <laughs> I'm not good at saying words. There are many more studies out there corroborating the association between diet and pain, including for rheumatoid arthritis and osteoarthritis. In fact, 75% of our immune system is housed in the gut, and scientists are discovering that your microbiome may play an important role in pain sensations. That's just one little excerpt that I found. I will link everything below so that you can read it yourself, and I hope that you do your own research as well. You should never just take what someone says and go with it. Um, so do your research. I hope I helped just one person. If you have CRPS, please, 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 Look into diet, inflammation, and chronic pain because it will help you. I promise. That is all for me today. As always, remember to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you want to follow along in my journey. I hope everyone has a great day. Bye. Bye. <laughs>